commercial is dark and disturbing. Did y'all notice after she blew the magical dust, gender differences no longer existed? That's why all the babies appeared to be wearing gender neutral clothing. And the male and female sign in the background is overtaken by this supernatural light. Be not deceived. This light does not represent the most high God. What this light alludes to in this commercial is the new world order. Do y'all remember in the beginning, the babies were wearing clothes that identified with their gender. Now take a look at this. Now the baby is wearing gender neutral clothes that says new order. The new world order. Now watch this. Zanino Nunu trying to shape the future of all human beings by saying, find your own individuality. We bring a new order uh, as a concept into the world. Do you know what? You don't know what they're going to become later. And you don't want for them to have psychologically a problem of growth. Celine Dion and her constituents said they are trying to shape the future of all human beings by saying, find your own individuality. Yeah. So the eyes of the Lord is upon the sinful kingdom. The Lord sees, sees everything they're doing. And, um, there's going to be a, 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 a punishment for it. You understand? A severe punishment is coming for this world because, um, what the scripture says, um, condemn them with an overthrow. Right? Condemn them with an overthrow. This is 2 Peter 2 and verse 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live on godly So that was an example. You know, living this kind of way, when you look back at that example, you should know if you don't change your ways, this is going to be you uh, and the coming for you by, by the way of the missiles. Verse 7. And deliver just law vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked right because when you go back to genesis would the angel tell lot then again shot shot man this genesis um would the, would the angel tell lot this is genesis i don't really can find it Yeah, come on. Genesis 19 and we start at 17, right? And the king of pass when they had brought them forth abroad, that he said, Escape for their life. This is the angel that come to Lot and the wife, right? And he said, Escape for thy life. Look not behind thee. Neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. And Lot said unto them, O oh, not so, my lord. Behold now, thy servant have found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast showed unto me in saving my life. And I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me, and I die. Behold now, this city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. Oh, let me escape thither. Is it not a little one? And my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also. I will not overthrow this city for the which thou hast spoken. Haste thee, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou become thither. Therefore, the name of the city was called Zoar. The sun, so maybe Revelation 7, the angels can't do nothing until the elect is sealed. You understand? The sun was, the sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zoar. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities 
and that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. So the ones that look back spiritually right now, meaning you you put in your hands, you worshiping this system, you, you take that karagma, because that is very really leading down to everything leading to the karagma. You take this karagma, you have worshiped this beast, you have given your whole heart, mind and soul, because the word worship means to prostrate one's mind, to bow. So you literally bow, you've given them all authority over you. Now you take that karagma, right? Revelation 16 and 1 and they heard a great voice out of, the, out of the temple saying to the seven angels go your ways and pour out the verse of the wrath of the Mosai upon the earth and the first went and put out his voice upon the earth and they felt a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship his image right that noise from a grievous sore, it goes to it goes to ulcers, right? It goes to ulcers, you see? And ulcers become cancerous. So this, when you put this object inside of your body, after what is gonna is gonna break out into ulcers in your body, because you're putting a, a highly um, radiated substance in your body, which your body wasn't designed for, you see? And your your immune system gonna be fighting it. And um, plus you got the job in your body already too, so it's like it's going to be a domino effect within your health. So you can break out in, in ulcers, be you understand? Um, Revelation 14 and 19 again, shot, shot. See, is and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead like I show you in the first clip or in his hand the dimension right hand or left hand so it means it can go in any part the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Morsai which is poured up without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So in other words, um, the angels, the elect, and Yahweh Shai, we're going to be over the, 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 the firmament watching the lake of fire, watching America being burnt. That is what he's talking about there. You understand? Um, Okay, I can Right, okay, so yeah, I think I should end it there. Um, we in end times, the Lord says he's going to keep us from the hour of temptation. Revelation 3 verse 10. And it is fastly approaching. It is fastly, fastly approaching. Like I said, the Great Reset is... Um, what these people are doing um, I thought I had another video in here with Klaus Schwab um, I guess it was wrong are developing a microchip that can detect viruses in the blood, including COVID-19. The chip would be inserted just under the skin and alert the user if the coronavirus is present in I their knew system. It. The military has not said I the knew it was coming. has been deployed. Just yeah. Hey, repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know? Real thing. Big brother's coming. 
reveals secret plan to tag every man, woman, and child on the planet. Look at that, guys. Coded microchips implanted in every person in the country would tie all of us into a massive computer that could track anyone down at any moment. And plans, such system, already underway, whether you like it or not. Look at this. This was published back in 1991. Tiny microchips is telling it all in this book. Y'all think we bullshitting. Y'all thought we was lying. Conspiracy theories, right? 444. So a lot of you, um, you foolish virgins, you when 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 this when this hit you in your face, the first day they showed you the woman, you don't gonna know what to do, right? You gonna go to the ones, you go to the, the five voice virgins, and really ain't got the time to to, to deal with you. When you had the opportunity, you took it as a joke. You took it as. Um, Fired, he wasn't serious, but as your life started to directly be impacted by it, and now you want to know the answers. Now you want to know, now you, now you want, now you got questions. Too late for the questions. You should have seen the law what he may be from Isaiah 55 verse 6. Call you upon him while he is near, right? But you didn't do that. You didn't do that, yeah, man. So I can end it there. You know what I mean? Hope it's Eddie Fane. You know what I mean? All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makar, Kodash. Shalom.